Let me tell you, what any man needs in life, call it, call it, what any man needs in life is the hand of God upon him. Let me confess to you, church. Do you know that it is now that I have uttermost peace in this church? There are some times that if they call you here, you hear this rumor, you, hear, you will be asking where is it coming from. Sometimes you discover it's equally coming from your church. Amen, church. Amen, church. Amen, no. Let me tell you, what a man desire and deserve in life is peace. I told somebody, even me as a preacher, if I don't receive peace in my house, that thing that is not causing me not to have peace, I will separate it. And the major thing on my head is to run the race which I am called unto. And I have discovered too that what has been keeping so many of us is what we call covenant. Somebody say covenant. Let's go to the scripture this morning. Amen and amen. This morning I want to preach on a topic I titled my covenant with God. Say my covenant with God. I'm not hearing you. Say my covenant with God. Can I prophesy to you? Even if you have not had any covenant, if there is any covenant by your father or your mother, may that covenant cover you. Because I've equally discovered in the Bible that there is some new generation that never had covenant, but the covenant of their fathers has been speaking on their behalf. Amen and amen. Take me to this scripture. Genesis chapter 6. The book of Genesis chapter 6. Whoever read it should take me to because of time, take me to verse um, verse 18. Genesis 6 verse 18. Yes. But with thee will I establish my covenant. The Lord said to who? Abraham. To Noah. Abraham. Not Abraham. To Noah. He said with thee shall I do what? Establish my covenant. Establish my what? With you shall I establish my covenant. Yes, sir. And thou shalt come into the ark. And thou shalt come into the ark. Thou and thy sons and thy wife and thy sons' wives. Hear you. this. He said, Thou shalt come into the ark with your wife, with your sons and their wives. Now, I want you to understand this. There was a covenant between God and Noah. If you read that scripture from verse 9, you will understand that God, the Bible says that Noah walked with who? With God. And now God now established a covenant between the both of them. Church, what do you understand by the word covenant? Huh? Agreement, correct. Covenant is an agreement between one person and the other. And covenant is being seen as an agreement between God and his people. And I've discovered that so many great men and women in the Bible, like Noah, Abraham, David, Jacob, all of them that are great men, I have discovered that there are one covenant or the other with them and who? And God. And I've discovered that greatness with a speed comes from you understanding what is called agreement with you and God. A time came in the time of Noah. God came angry and said something. Who could tell me why God said he wanted to destroy the earth at that time? In a one world. Huh? He said wickedness, uh -huh. disobedience, and the, the Bible called it corruption. 
Read that scripture down. You see that if you go through different kind of, they will always use that word. They will say, corruption was so much and God beheld corruption. So don't fight the president of Nigeria for fighting corruption. <laughs> God decided to end the humans and the earth and the race because of what? Corruption. But among those people, there was a man he found faith. And God said, I, he now decided to establish a covenant with him. And God said to him, this is our agreement. I will save you. You will go and bring your, children, your sons, your wives. Go and get animals, at least two. Of each, get this, get that, build an ark of such. When you do that, I shall keep you and I will end the earth. But thou who has done this shall be what? Alive and saved. Not only you with your family. Do you understand that? Now, there is every tendency that one of his children might be misbehaving. Hello? There is every tendency that one of the wives of the sons might be what? Misbehaving. But because God found faith and now had a covenant with him and Noah, he now said, I shall save you when you are entering the earth, don't enter alone, enter with your wife, enter with your sons and their what? Their wives. So now, a covenant he had saved him and save his family. Before I proceed, can I prophesy? If you had a genuine father and mother who entered a covenant through God, may that covenant guide you. May that covenant protect you. May that covenant serve you. That is why we parents at this time, we should know the kind of covenant we go into. Because some of the covenants you go into now extends to your family and extends to your generation. There are people, the covenant in their lives has ended the good things that would have come out of their family. There are some people, what is happening to you today and what you are suffering today is based on the covenant your father or your mother had somewhere. Maybe they never presumed that it will scatter your destiny. But because maybe they were looking for the fruit of the womb or they were looking for financial prosperity, they began to make one vow and one covenant with one altar, whether aware or unaware. And those things they did at that time is still working against somebody till now. Can I prophesy? Anything where you know, no, no, go know you. I say anything where you know, no, no, go know you. Every covenant you took on away in the name of Jesus is hereby broken. My covenant with God. I have equally discovered one thing, brother. That if you want to be a great man, have a covenant with God. There are so many of you here that is hearing the sound of my voice or those who are watching me. There are so many of you that do not have a covenant with God. I don't even talking here. There are so many of us here. Number one, some of us do not even understand what is called covenant or vow or thanksgiving. I don't know how to. I don't even talking here. So, so many of you who made vow. With God, maybe you said, God, I'll, I'll give you one cow when you give me a child. Hmm? That is vow. So when he gives you a child, you buy one cow and go to your church and give. Do you understand? That is what? Vow. Covenant is an agreement of an assignment between you and And anytime God has such level of covenant, I have always noticed one thing in the Bible. He always extends it. It also ends with you. 
go through all the people he gave covenants. He always extends that covenant prosperity to generations. Amen. And that is why when some of us do not have any legitimate covenant, because God said, I will establish a covenant. And sometimes when you look at the scripture and understand it, you will see that God always put a reference that I will keep my covenant. That means sometimes we don't keep our covenant with God. What kind of covenant have you kept with God? Take me to this scripture place. Take me to Genesis 17, 2 to 8. Let's see how he kept the covenant of Abraham. Genesis Genesis 17, 2 to 8. And I will make my covenant between me and thee. God says he will make his covenant between him and Abraham. And I will multiply thee exceedingly. God says to him, when this covenant is established, I shall multiply thee exceedingly. And Abraham fell on his face, and God talked with him, saying, God said to him, as for me, behold, uh -huh. my covenant is with thee. Now, see, he said, as for me, is that what he said? As for me, my covenant is what? With thee. Understand this, there are people, when in the process of their covenant with God, they don't keep their covenant. But God always makes it sure to you. He says, as for me, my own is sure. I will keep. Then, will you then do what? Keep your own with. Because I've seen men broken covenant because of life frustrations. I have seen men broken their covenant because of the challenge they go through at present. And they forgot to realize that the situation now can never be forever. Everything under the earth has an expiring date. So the problem in your life have what? Experiment. And that is why when you have a covenant with God, even if life is looking as if it is frustrating you, brother, it has kai, kai, kai. There is an expiring date attached. It will expire and you will be repositioned. And let me say something. God knows what us, every one of us. So he knows what he will do for us to have joy and peace. So at that moment, you needed that thing so much. At that time, you needed it so much. It might not be at the time you actually needed it so much. God. And God said to Abraham, as for me, oh, my covenant will be sure. Then the next question is, how about you? Will your covenant with God be sure? Go ahead. And thou shalt be a father of many nations. He said in this covenant, I shall make you a father of... Now, hear this. I don't know who can tell me how many years Abraham was when God was making this covenant and said to him, Thou shalt be a father of... You know, eh, there is something... You know, you, let me say something. You, you can come into this place and I and I began to prophesy to you. Uh, maybe I said, God says you tell you to be a president in your nation. The Lord will anoint you to lead your country to the path of righteousness. And then you now lift up all your calculator and began to press. And suddenly, I might ask you, brother, what are you pressing? They say you want to calculate your age. <laughs> I know how old you are now to compare how when that prophecy shall come to pass. Let me tell you, 
anybody here that God has made a covenant with, be rest assured, as long as it is God, it shall come to pass. Go ahead. Neither shall thy name be more called Abraham, for thy name shall be called Abraham. Abraham. Cause. For a father of many nations I have made thee. Because from now you are a father of many nations. I will make thee exceeding fruitful. I will make you exceeding fruitful. And I will make nations of thee. Uh -huh. Kings shall come out of thee. Kai. And I will establish my covenant between me and thee and thy seed Kai. after thee Kai. in their generation. Please, can you read verse 1 of that chapter 17? That verse 17. What did he say? Verse 1. one. one. And when Abraham was 90, 90 years. When Abraham was 90 and 90, 90 years and 9. Read it very well. And when, when Abraham, Abraham was, was 90 years old and 9. And 9, that is what? 99 years. Was it the time the promise came? That was uh, the later covenant. Okay, 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 proceed, proceed, proceed. read it from there. there, there. I want to pick up something. The Lord appeared to Abraham and said unto him, uh -huh. I am the almighty God. Uh -huh. Walk before me uh -huh. and be thou perfect. He said, walk before what? Me. He had instruction so that he can give. God needed him to walk. Uh -huh. Then will, he will establish. Then what is verse 2 saying? And I will make my covenant between me and thee. Uh -huh. And will multiply thee exceedingly. And he will multiply. Now, when you analyze how old, when you analyze how old Abraham was, when you analyze, you know, when somebody believes he's having a gray hair, when you analyze where he was coming from, and then you now see those covenant, say, walk my part, I shall make you. You know, some of you will doubt that. Is that correct? But let me tell you, for you to know that God is not a liar, with my own witness eye, I have seen a woman who removed her womb. This story is not a hidden story. Sorry, I've had a woman who during the time of her prostitution removed her womb so that she can't conceive. After when she gave her life to Christ, she married and without any deal, without telling the husband what went in, and later confessed, and she conceived. I have seen a woman confirmed monopause, conceived. I have seen God break laws, break protocols. When you are a grace carrier, you will break protocols. I don't know if I'm talking here. I said, when you're a grace carrier, you will break what? Protocol. There are covenants you need, brother. The covenant in the New Testament, John 3, 16. What does it say? For God so, he gave that whosoever. So that means there are part of us to do. He gave. But the covenant between us is whosoever that does what? So when you don't believe there's a problem, there's a problem. You must believe that Jesus Christ is the son of God. You must accept it and see God walk in that way. Any covenant established that you're not aware from your grandfather or your father that is currently working against you is hereby nullified by the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. But any covenant from your parents that of God, that is a carrier of blessings, I reestablish that covenant into your destiny. It shall work in thy favor. Continue from where you were reading before. Are you done to the A? From verse 7. Yes. Now we establish my covenant. God said he will establish the covenant. Between me and thee. Yes. And thy seed 
and thy seed. After thee in their generation. Kai, Kai, can you see how long that covenant is? For as an everlasting covenant. Now, when God promises a man something, it's only God that extends the blessing above you. He blesses you, blesses your son, blesses your grandson, but the assignment of it is you. Amen, church. The assignment of it is who? He gave you an assignment. Do this, and I shall do this. He didn't say, do this, and your son will do this, and your grandson will do this. No, he said, do this, and I shall do this, then extend it to your son, your generation. What a covenant. Some of you, even as I'm talking, you don't have covenant. If I take this microphone round now and ask people, what are your covenant with God? Some of us do not even know the difference between covenant, thanksgiving, vow, amen, amen. We need to have covenant that will guide way. Amen. Amen. Because of time, when you go home, you read the covenant of Jacob with God in Genesis 28, verse 13 to 14. When you go home, you read the covenant with God and David in 2 Samuel, chapter 23, verse 5. When you go home, you equally read the covenant in the Bible reading we read today in Hebrews chapter 9, verse 15. Verse 15. I took a covenant at the beginning of the year myself. I want to know who has a covenant with God here. You have a covenant with God and you understand that when you were doing that it was a covenant. But now you're having challenge to keep that covenant. Let, let me know. Who is that? Even our cameraman have covenant. Brother has a covenant. Would you have a covenant? You have a covenant. I want to see all the people that have covenant with God after service. Now let me tell you, covenant pays. Covenant is more powerful. Let me tell you, have you heard that boss had an accident, everybody died, and one person survived without a scratch? Eh? You never hear such testimony. Go and check very well. There is what? There is covenant somewhere. God knows they play with his covenant children. He knows they play with them. He doesn't play with them. He doesn't play with them. And again, let me correct an impression. Covenant is not necessarily money. Hello? Because some people might tell you that the covenant now is you sow a seed of 20,000. Covenant. Amen. Amen. So please, as a child of God, you should have a covenant with God. I hear something now. And those people that say they have a covenant with God, is there anybody among you that is having the challenge on your covenant now? I, I will make you to restate it stronger. Is there anybody among you? Okay, brother one. Sister two, three. I would not raise hand before. Why not cut the raise when I not said who has a challenge? Okay, let me steal all of you immediately after service. Because covenant is supposed to be only between you and God. But why I want to discuss with you is to make you stronger in your covenant. You will see that your life will change more. There are some of you who don't have covenant at all. What are you waiting for? You should be a covenant child. You should be a covenant child. I have a brother. Look at my house in the village. Look at his house. They had an accident when he was, I think he was in school or thereabout. Even a pregnant woman was in the car. The car got burnt. So, accident and the whole thing. Everybody died. But he was sitting at the middle. 
Even the pregnant woman sitting by his side died. Everybody died. Then he survived. We ask him, how did you survive? How did you survive? He said that he knew that he was conscious. Then he saw a hand that came in from the glass like an angel and took him like, you know, carrying something, just took him and removed him and kept him outside. Then when the whole thing finished, he woke up, he was lying outside. His name is Chin Onyerim. God be with me. His first name is my first name, Emmanuel. God is with us. Now, when you hear it's part of covenant, then you will now realize that it is good to have covenant with God. But covenant of God carries a very serious assignment. Hello? Look at Noah. The assignment was go and build an ark. Now, when God was speaking to him, he now tell him exactly what he wants. Build it that you have this inner room here. It will have this cubit, uh, cubit length of this. It will, you know, it's an instruction. And when thou shall be, I shall establish. Kai, kai, kai. So covenant has a very strong binding agreement. It's just like memorandum of understanding. We understand that this is your part. And this shall be my part. But one thing about the one of God is that when he releases it to you, brother, he extends this to your generation. That's one thing about God's own. Covenant. A lot of people break their covenant because of situations of life. A lot. Because of situations of life. You don't need to break your covenant because of situation of life. We will, we will, my joy in this branch is that I want people who understand the word, carry the word in their chest, not prophecy, prophecy. Carry it in their chest, then break through. There's no way God will not talk to us when you're having a challenge. We have God here. But you need to know the truth how you can serve God and be a genuine child of God. Then when that happens in your life, the enemy cannot, then that time you will understand that the prophecy of touch not my anointing is not only for men of God, it is meant for children of God. Because you can be a man of God without being a child. Is that confusing? Is that confusing? You can be a man of God without being what? A child of God. So that is the time you will understand that touch not my anointing is meant for children of God. When I remember what the Lord has done I will never go back anymore When I remember what the Lord has done, I will never go back anymore. Yeah, you don't need to go back from the covenant you have already had with God. Because the covenant stressing you, protect you, guides you. Till the time the rays of eternity comes to an end. Right. The time of the rays of this earth comes to an end. Then we now enter into another realm of life. God. God. I need to know the covenant children of God here. I don't know who wants to know what is my covenant with God. Now let me tell you. You must have a covenant with God. Every covenant child is when you see a covenant child you will know. There is something I don't supposed to say in the open church. But let me give you a hint. If you are a covenant of child uh, a covenant child of God, you go free in some certain things. Amen. I don't know if I'm lying here. 
If you're a covenant child of God, there are some certain things you do what? I'm not asking you to go and sin because say Paulie, the wages of sin is what? So it's better respect yourself so that you will not say, okay, let me covenant and be misbehaving. <laughs> Amen. Guy. When some of our amoki we hear oh what not top of that when they wake you only like yours oh chime amara not a poor baby amara only chin of soul amara not a poor baby Amara, more be don't look to me. Hello, my camera. If you are not a covenant child of God, that's the problem. I even have covenant and I equally have a covenant song. <laughs> that's what I just sang now. And that's why no matter the situation I see myself, immediately I lift up my voice and shout, No, leave it on that level it works. Hello, Baranyo kige Bihe Kowa Na tsopo Oh Bainewe Olila Nyozo Amara Nora Pupegi Amara No so, no And I will call him and I will say, Ndi Mosi, Deep Jalolwa. Hamara no do tiro no Hamara Ah le 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 bosa I have seen God walk Ma to serve God is so sweet Iri wa yenye nam Bro di iri we go ga henye tu nam Iri we ya wo to kana chine ke Here we are, Tokara Chineke. Here we are, Yenam. Oh, as we were in the mountain praying, and I was praying for myself and my family and the church. I want to put my eyes to something personal that I'm not going to discuss. But hear this. Let me tell you, God is God of justice, God of mercy, and God of fire. Any part you want to provoke, he answers you through that area. Hello? I say any part you want to provoke, he answers you through that area. You can renew your covenant with God. I'm The situation you're facing now we come to end and will expire one day. Do not because of the situation of what you have gone into to despise about God 
I believe that God is no longer at work concerning you. Can I say something to you, child of God? The covenant of God with you. May it come alive again. Amen. And may your life never end in trouble. Amen. Say amen. Let me hear you. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Are there more people that want to have a covenant with God this morning? Now, let me tell you what is covenant. One of my covenants, it's not only one, but to one of them was the one I led you with here in January, February with Exodus 23 verse what? 25 where the Bible says and I, prophet Emmanuel Chinoso Stephen, shall serve my Lord, my God. Then he now said to me, Then I shall bless your bread and your water, and sicknesses shall be taken away from me. When I don't hear a go hospital before, Covenant. If you don't know how to do, let me teach you. You need one. You need one. You need one. No matter how the pain comes, no matter how the sickness comes, you may like bless water. Drink. And not say do like that too, because it might work, it might not work. But I tell you my own. I'm telling you. Be a covenant child of what? Children of God, be a covenant child of what? Of oh God. Be a covenant child of God. I was watching on the Facebook an old woman cleaning chairs. And the source says she does it either every weekend or that. Don't be shocked that that old woman never took that covenant when she was old. It might be something she had been doing. And the covenant is every weekend I will go to our church and clean church. When you come, you will now sit and relax. You didn't know who cleaned it. That was his covenant. Then when we go to heaven, you see where she is now sitting in a very big chair. Then you'll be imagining, oh, no, this woman, where they live half room, not one room, half room in our street. Amen. I'm a covenant, I'm a covenant child of God. How about you? I'm a covenant child of God. How about you? May the Lord bless us. May the Lord keep us. May the Lord strengthen us with the grace to uphold the covenant we had with him. That at the end, it shall end in praise. And at last, heaven shall be our home. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.